Hi, I'm Matt Mayfield, and you're watching the Audio Fundamentals course. So I'll have to apologize for the sound quality of this episode because I am on tour with my band, and I'm recording this in a tiny and noisy hotel room. So please bear with me. So last time we talked about the compressor as a type of amplitude processor. In this episode, we'll briefly go over the other types of amplitude processors, of dynamic processors, and mostly by comparing them to the compressor, we'll see how all of those work. We'll start with the limiter. As you can see, both the compressor and the limiter reduce differences in volume level, but the compressor makes what I would call soft changes, and the limiter makes hard changes. Here's how that works. With a compressor, you set a ratio of how much you want it to compress above the threshold. So here's no compression, here's a low ratio, and here's a high ratio. With a limiter, though, you set an infinity to one ratio. In other words, no matter how much the original signal went above the threshold, the limiter will turn it down to the threshold and not let it get any higher at all. So with no compression, you've got this shape, and with a limiter, you get this. Now that looks like clipping on this graph, but remember, this is amplitude over time. It's not the same thing as a waveform. So it is possible to use a limiter without clipping. Although, the harder you make a limiter work, the more it tends to sound bad and approach the sound of clipping. So, in a nutshell, that's the compressor and the limiter. They're very closely related. As far as the expander and the gate, let's start by comparing the compressor to the expander. With a compressor, we are reducing the level of the signal when it exceeds the threshold. So we're turning it down whenever it gets louder than the threshold. With the expander, though, we're instead of turning down the signal when it goes above the threshold, we turn down the signal when it goes below the threshold. Let's look at an example of where this is useful. So in this example, we have two, let's say they're sentences that a person is saying. And in between, there's a moment of what sounds like silence in the room, but the microphone is picking up let's say, a vacuum from across the hall of the hotel. So an expander is useful in this case to help reduce that noise between the sentences. What we'll do is we'll set the threshold to a point where when the person is not talking, it drops below that threshold. Let's say the noise is two decibels below our threshold where it's set. If the expander is set to a one to two ratio, that portion of silence that's about two dB below our threshold will be turned down further so that now it's about 4 dB below our threshold. Or let's say that we set it to a 1 to 3 ratio. That means that for every decibel that the signal drops below the threshold, it'll be turned down so that it drops a total of 3 decibels below, tripling the amount that it goes below the threshold. So that's your expander. Very similar in operation to a compressor, except that it's happening when it drops below the threshold instead of above. There is such a thing as an upward expander, but we're not going to cover that here because it's very rarely encountered and it's not as useful as a downward expander like we just saw. The last type of amplitude processor is the gate, or noise gate, and we can compare that to the expander in much the same way as we can compare the limiter to the compressor. So here's our regular expander set to a fairly modest ratio of 1 to 2. A noise gate is an expander with a 1 to infinity ratio. That section that drops below the threshold is reduced all the way down to total silence. Since it's dropping down to total silence, it's useful on a gate to set the attack and release times to a higher value so that it fades in and out rather than suddenly cutting in and out. But occasionally that can be used for an interesting effect. And so there you have it, four types of dynamics processors arranged in a way that I hope makes sense and helps you keep track of which is which. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, I'm sorry about the reduced audio quality and the short episode, but we should be back to normal in the studio next week. Please feel free to comment, ask questions, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you next time.